In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the use of Dutran 525 gram kits with the new Rhino. So to begin with, let's talk about safety. Of course, um, whenever you're exposed to chlorine dioxide in gas form, you wanna be using a multi-gas, multi-vapor cartridge with your full face respirator. That will ensure the protection of eyes, nose, and mouth from inhalation. Secondly, we wanna talk about nitrile gloves for handling the material. And then third, if you're concerned about the potential splashing, use some sort of coverall like um, Tyvek, um, either just the sleeves or the full suit, okay? Now let's move into how these products come. As you can see here, you've got a part A and a part B to every kit. Kit A has 500, or I'm sorry, 250 grams, while kit B has 275 grams, giving us the total of 525 grams. If you, you can purchase these a couple ways, either you can get these in smaller cases or you can buy them in these waterproof pails. That comes 20 kits to a pail. All right, now, what's important in diluting these or in pre-diluting these is that we're going to have a total of a gallon for a 525 gram kit. This kit is going to make 100, 000, I'm sorry, 50,000 parts per million of chlorine dioxide. It's not important that you get it exactly right, okay? We want approximately a half a gallon in side B and approximately a half a gallon in side A. The reason that we're pre-mixing this is that we don't want to have any sort of potential chemical interaction um, that you can see if you've got like chunks of chemical coming together, okay? so. Fortunately, I have a part B side already open here, but let me show you how that works with a part A side. So your part A is gonna come in this package, a foil bag just like this, and then inside, you're gonna have your plastic bag. Simply cut that open, and then we're gonna go directly into our part A side there. And then of course, like I mentioned, we've already got part B open. Gonna go into our B side here. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these two. Now you're gonna notice that part A is going to dissolve fairly readily, okay? It's gonna go into solution here. And you're gonna wanna mix this for one to two minutes and it's just going to form a pretty crystal clear solution it is going to evolve a little bit of gas off of it but nothing similar to what you're going to see once it forms chlorine dioxide all right now that we've got that solution made let's go ahead and make our part b side okay this is going to have a tendency to have some little clumps in it okay as you can see right here it's not going to um it's not going to dissolve completely ever there's always going to be just a little bit there okay now that we've got the two of those mixed together we're going to open up our tray right here which we've used before i'm going to go ahead and switch on the unit because again, we want that to be pulling the vapor through the unit once we dump the solution in. We're going to pour both of these together to form our chlorine dioxide. And now, lock it up. What I want to make mention of while we're here is that we've got a chlorine dioxide selection chart on the website. Simply go to the Rhino page and under the technical documents tab, you'll find this for download. If you have any questions about dwell times or how many gallons or parts of gallons you need to use with any one of our products. Thanks for your time.